Hi, I'm Dr. Tay. Today I'm going to talk about the cannabinoid receptors and again the endocannabinoid system. It's a massive topic, but I'll give you another bite-sized chunk of information. So there's two subtypes of cannabinoid receptor. Cannabinoid receptor 1 and cannabinoid receptor 2. These are the two main types. There are other types of cannabis uh, receptors and endocannabinoid receptors in our body but these are the two main ones that we're going to look at today. Now cannabinoid receptor 1 is found mostly in the brain, spinal cord. It's associated with neuronal response um, and transmission and is very involved in reduction of pain, so stopping those pain pathways of chronic pain. Cannabinoid receptor 2 are found mostly peripheral and within the immune system. So they're found on all our white blood cells and they're associated with immune response and inflammation, so reducing that and helping in, out in inflammatory disease and autoimmune disease in that sense. So the CB1 receptor is the receptor that is bound directly by THC and is responsible for the psychoactive effect of THC, the, the recreational high that people look for when smoking cannabis recreationally. Now there's 10 times more CB1 receptors in our brain there and there are opiate receptors. So that just indicates to me the importance of this system in our body. They're, they are found in different areas of the brain, including the cerebral cortex, which is higher functioning, the basal ganglia, the hypothalamus, the cerebellum, the amygdala and the spinal cord. So all important areas of our brain to do with emotion and memory, um, fear and fear and anxiety responses or, or survival responses, emotion and uh, motor coordination. Notably, there are no cannabis receptors or endocannabinoid receptors in the area of our brainstem responsible for breathing and heartbeat. So this is the reason it's impossible to die from a cannabis overdose. Now cannabis 2 receptors are mostly peripheral and as I said are associated with immune function and inflammation. They're expressed on all of our white blood cells, so T cells, B cells, and macrophages. And they're associated with decreasing that inflammatory response in a healthy functioning endocannabinoid system. So they're the two most important receptors in our endocannabinoid system, CB1 and CB2. And they're the most effective way to interact with our body via our plant cannabinoids and our cannabis medicines. Thanks, I'm Dr. Tay.